the treatment uh, options for advanced liver cancer are limited. Um, and the only FDA approved medication in the US is serafinib, which is a multi-kinase inhibitor um, for patients with advanced disease. There was a trial in 2008 um, that was published in the New England Journal um, that uh, resulted in the approval of this medication for uh, advanced liver cancer. Um, the trial included patients with very well compensated liver disease and good performance status, and it showed a survival benefit. Um, there's limited real world data um, in, uh, the, for this medication and its efficacy and, and, uh, and patients with advanced liver cancer. So what we aim to do is look at Sear Medicare, which is a large na uh, national data set in the U.S. Um, that has cancer diagnoses, uh, including Medicare, Medicare claims data, comorbidities, to try to uh, understand what the real world benefit of serafinib is in advanced liver cancer and um, some mitigators of the, that, that benefit or you know, what are some factors that influence that. So uh, we had 228 patients that were treated between 2007 and 2009 with serafinib therapy um, versus 870 patients with advanced liver cancer that had no treatment. So we had a comparison group um, um, to compare to. Um, and we looked at the survival benefit uh, of serafinib pa treated patients versus the control patients. Um, we found that um, patients that were treated with serafinib had a uh, survival benefit about uh, 88 days uh, compared to untreated patients, which is consistent with the clinical trial data. Um, significantly, um, the, the, liver can the, uh, the major liver societies, including the ASLD, recommend uh, therapy with serafinib for patients with child's class B cirrhosis, which indicates they have some sort of decompensation. So we were specifically interested in that population because there's a lot of, there's not very much limited data on seeing what the survival benefit is in that population of patients. So we had coding for patients with decompensation, um, which includes ascites, esophageal varices, and hepatic encephalopathy. And um, once you had a decompensation, that survival benefit decreases down to about 31 days um, versus 88. So the survival benefit is diminished uh, significantly once the liver is sick, uh, which is you know, may be consistent with what we see with clinical practice. Um, and the strength of that the study is that we have a comparison group to compare that to. So there's about 86 patients in our cohort with decompensation, um, and we compare that to control patients with decompensation. That's how we derived our survival benefit. Um, uh, and so that was the rationale and the results of our study.